doing what the Lord say do can only be a benefit to you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And they did that and, and I told them to bring it to me. I didn't bless you for you to keep it. Bring it here. Yeah. When they looked around and they started touring, he, he already had the fish on the fire. <laughs> he already had bread on the fire. <laughs> See, Lord ain't waiting for your time. He's already got blessings in the church. Lord ain't waiting for you to bring it. He's already able to feed you. So don't worry about just bring it. He said, bring it, bring it. Bring it to him. He don't need what you got. He gave it to you. So when you give it to you, bring it back to him. You ain't gonna starve to death. Yeah. He already got fish on the fire. Yeah. He already got the bread on the fire. Yeah. Don't worry about how you gonna get taken care of. God already has prepared the table for you. Just do what he tells you. Bring it on to him. He brought it to him. He said, "Come on now, let's eat." Listen, today, Lord bless the little people. Everybody got food. And that brought us up to our tents. We're right there. Which means I'm almost finished. You turn to Peter and ask him a question. And it's, it's, a, it's a valid question. Right. It's an important question. Yes, sir. They were saying about how I will treat Jesus. Yeah. Well, Jesus wants to know that. Yeah. He want to know. Yes, sir. Do you love him? Yeah. He, he wants to know do we love yes. him. Yeah. And as we bring this union together, and that's what it is, yeah. a pastor and a church, right. yes, sir. that we're bringing together, we're installing it in, in, in God's work. Yes, God has already given the work to them. Mm -hmm. We're just taking a vow mm -hmm. before the rest of the church. Right. Yes, sir. And as they take those vows, in the presence of thee. Right. The first thing we want to know is do you love the Lord? Because Pastor Dawson, you probably are. If you don't love each other, this ain't going to work. When you go together in union, when we get married, we make a vow. The first thing we have to be sure of is that love is there. Because see, love casts out anything else. You can make it through the other little stuff if you got the love. So, so, so Jesus didn't ask him, did he have a stamina? Yeah. Did he have a knowledge? Yeah. You ain't worried about all that other stuff. Lord wanna know that they do your love. Yeah. Yeah. He, didn't have, he don't worry about whether you can sing or not. Whether you can teach Sunday school or not. Yeah, you can do that. You got a melodious voice. You got a little knowledge in the British college and all that kind of stuff. But the Lord don't care about that. He want to know, do you love him? See, love will make you get up when you don't feel like getting up. Love will make you come to church when it's cloudy, drink and rain. See, love will move you from the valley of circumstance. So Jesus wanted to know, do you love me? Well, see, I, I, I've been through something and you failed the last time. 
you failed the last time. Now you told me what funny about your love and what you do. But when it got hard in you, the road got rough, the hard got tough. I found out that you wouldn't be as faithful as you thought to you. It, it wasn't necessary that, that Peter didn't want to love the Lord. He wanted it. He really thought he'd really go all the way with it. Yeah. When circumstances get rough enough, when bills ain't getting paid, when huh? there ain't no food in the icebox, <laughs> when, when I ain't got no clothes to wear, I can't get my clothes out to clean, I can't get my hair fit. Oh, that's a test of love right now. You would have got laid off in your job. Yeah, I want to know, do you love me now? I knew you loved me when I was making big money. I knew you were loving me when we had two dogs. But now that we walk and one has been taken away from me, I want to know you love me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you love me? Yeah. All right. This doesn't mean you don't 
Oh. This means he lived that. Those that been here a long time, and those that just came. Feed the lamb. And feed the sheep. You see, a lot of folks in church, the sheep in church think they know more than the lamb. They think they have a special privilege. Because they've been here for you. That's the sheep. They put the lamb in the background. You just got here. I was here when so and so was here. And they say, no, but you got to preach to the sheep as well as you do to the lamb. Now you got to preach to the lamb so that they can become sheep. Because if the lamb isn't fed, they'll never become a sheep. And that responsibility is up to you to feed them. And if you love Jesus, you'll feed them. They're going to get hungry, I tell you. I tell you, they're going to get hungry. And don't, don't take it personal every time. They, 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 they say something bad about you. The fact that, you know, I have to learn that. I have to learn that now. Every time they say something about me, I feel like they're upset. I don't know why they talk about me. But now I begin to realize that's just a growing process. They, 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 they grow it, they feel lambs. Once they become sheep, they'll stop talking about the past. Once they go out of that lamb stage, they'll stop talking about the church. They'll stop watching their money. Once they become sheep, they'll realize that it ain't theirs, it belongs to the Lord. And when he asks for it, they need to give it to him. That's when they become sheep, but lamb don't understand that. So you have to feed them so that they'll grow to the point where they understand and become sheep. Sheep don't mean they're going to follow you. <laughs> that don't mean you become a sheep now, you're going to follow me. That, 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 uh, all that means is they just find a, a better way and they're more encouraged or more knowledgeable as how not to follow you. <laughs> 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 now I'm talking about you. To your faith. <laughs> the lamb don't know no better. But when they become sheep, they find a way to navigate through the congregation and get their words back to sister dogs. They don't come to your faith, they come through her. Because they're now sheep and they understand. Doesn't mean they're gonna follow you. But if you love the Lord, you feed them anyhow. 